Welcome back everybody and in today's video I got some major things done to my base and also I got pranked. As you can see when I loaded into the world the first thing I saw was a purple sheep. Why was there a purple sheep in my house? Don't ask me these questions because these are questions I cannot answer. That's a lie, I can answer these questions and I know exactly why this purple sheep is in my house. To get a better idea I decided to figure out who put this purple sheep here. It didn't feel right letting the sheep out. I feel like being purple, he would have been picked on by all the other sheep. So I decided to shove him in this little hole in the side of my house and lock him there. Once I had the sheep locked in the hole, I now had a new best friend that would live with me forever. Now to get down to business, to figure out who was behind the purple sheep, I decided to go to Blizzard Bee's house, and there I found a whole bunch of purple sheep. Now this could have meant one of two things, either Blizzard Bee got pranked by the same person as well, or she's behind it. To figure it out, I went to the Hunter's Army house, and at first I thought that there was nothing suspicious, and because I didn't see any purple sheep, I didn't see anything that I thought had anything to do with it, but now that I look back, I realised that there's purple everywhere, so purple sheep, purple floor, purple house. Not only that, I also got told that it was maybe him, maybe not, but I'm putting two and two together and I'm assuming that it was him that did this prank to me, so I'm going to have to get him back and you guys are going to have to drop a comment below on how I'm supposed to do that. But the next thing I went and did is hunt some creepers because I was told that if you kill a creeper, you basically get a creeper statue. And so I went and hunted a few creepers and got a few creeper statues. Now at this point I had collected a few creeper statues and I was going to place one or two out the front of my house just for decoration and the server started lagging or my internet started lagging one of the two and it decided that I could not destroy the creeper statues and after this I basically logged off that day but the next time I did log back into that server uh, I didn't have any of my stuff in my inventory and I was a bit confused and when I walked outside all my stuff was outside as if I had died there. So obviously while I was lagging in this clip here, it didn't recognize that I was actually going back inside and you know, logged off, it thought I died somehow. So all my stuff was luckily okay. I lost some things, but I got them back pretty easily. After the whole purple sheep incident, I decided that I wanted to upgrade my base and make it look a lot better. And in the last episode, I actually said that I did the floor out of spruce wood, and that was a mistake. I actually meant to say dark wood. I made my floor and roof out of dark wood oak, and um, it looks a lot better uh, with the roof as dark wood and not dirt and stone and all that other stuff. After upgrading that first room, I decided that I wanted to make another room to the side. So I started digging that out, and I guess you guys can now enjoy a digging montage. And with a bit of editing magic, the room has been dug out and I can finally start on making it look a little bit prettier just like this first main room.
putting that main room aside for now, I wanted to work on the outside of my base a little bit and just make it look a little bit better. Also, considering I was hiding it behind some trees in the mountain, it kind of looked like a creepy little house. So I wanted to make it look a lot better on the outside, make it look a little bit inviting so people would come and like feel welcome. I really hope I didn't go overboard with that outside area, but as you can see, I came back in and continued finishing off this other room. I put a lounge and a TV. These mods will be in the description below. If you wanna check these mods out, then just go click that link. And um, yeah, they're pretty good. Also, this video is not sponsored, so when you go down in that description, there's gonna be a whole bunch of links from music and other creators and just a whole bunch of random stuff. Don't worry about it unless you're looking for something specific. After all this, I realised that I logged on today to get some achievements done in this book and get some points. And when I looked at my book, I realised that most of the stuff I had done isn't really an achievement. So I decided to make a farm. Now, keep in mind, it's not a very good farm. I had no water bucket, so I couldn't really keep it hydrated. Probably right now, the farm's just dirt. It's probably completely gone. But um, I did put it there, so I'm going to count it as an appoint because when I do log on next, I'm going to make sure that the farm stays there. So I'm going to count that as a point, even though it doesn't really matter at the moment. Then, for some reason, I decided to place a water fountain on my farm because, I don't know, I must have thought that it was going to hydrate the farm or something. It didn't. As far as I know, it didn't. But if you guys haven't seen, I put the pool table outside, I also put the piano outside, and this place is coming together pretty well if you ask me. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like or subscribing. It's free and it helps me out a ton. I appreciate it so much. This video took quite some time to edit and film and I honestly didn't think it was going to take this long. If you guys didn't know, I'm trying to race my friend to 500 subscribers and he's currently on 400 and winning. So if you guys want to help me out, hit that subscribe button and help me get to 500 subscribers so I can beat my friend in winning this race.